I was a member of a confraternity when I was in the university. Mm -hmm. I grew to be the number six man of that confraternity. And so what I'm saying to you, I say to you from experience, you don't know what you will do if they put a gun to your head. Eh? A gun. In fact, you, will not, you don't know what you will do if you hold a gun in your hand. I tell you for free. I saw grown men piss on themselves if you put a gun to a man's temple. He will piss on himself. When he comes to the threshold, when he knows that at the slightest wind, he's gone, you will not believe the kind of things that will come out of your mouth. It is easy to sing in church. Take my life. Hmm. It's easy. Once the, the people come on the keyboard now and we begin to say, spend my life. I assure you, if God starts spending your life, you will ask for change. I assure you. It's easy. But the truth is that when the chips are down, you will know that those things you sang in church were lies. Your convictions are not truly yours until they have been tested. And what the Lord has been telling me is that the days of testing are here. <laughs> they are here. All the things that we have spoken within the four walls of buildings, situations are rising now when you will have to stand. And sometimes you will be standing alone. You know, if we bring lamps into this place now and, and just imagine how many we are, probably, I don't know, hundreds. If every one of us was a lamp and one amongst us was not lit, will you know? Will you know? All the other 99 will cover that one's nakedness. But the day that that lamp is isolated, you will find out that it can't shine. The days of testing are here. And the reason we are like this, that it has become an urgency in the spirit, is because all the systems that the body of Christ has built over the years, they've been designed in such a way to make us so comfortable that the average Christian is oblivious that we're in a war. We don't know we're fighting a battle. Satan is so, is so, is so skillful so technically sound. He knows that if he puts a naked woman on TV and he puts pornography on TV, he knows that the Christian will not watch. So he wraps it up as a reality TV show that even Christians now say it is entertainment. So people are sitting in their houses. There are families where I come from. I don't know about Macaulay. Where when it is time for big brother, it is the father that regulates the timing and is a deacon. Mm. If the children there start watching before he comes, there will be problem. No school fees. Yes. He's a deacon. And then when you want to talk, they say, it's just entertain. You think Satan is stupid? He knows that you young man, you will not open your spirit to, the, to, to, to a spirit of immorality by yourself. So he's subtle in warfare. Everything that Satan does is with the battle in mind. He knows that he's in war. The Bible says that he knows that he has but a short time. Every step Satan takes, he takes it with the battle in mind. The only thing Satan wants is victory. That's all he's seeking. He wants to be able to look God in the eye and say, I told you. I told you. But he knows that if he comes out in plain sight, even the weakest amongst us will be able to discern him. So he goes into fashion. He goes into sports. He goes into academics. Goes, Do you know that our secondary schools have become a wasteland? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, our secondary schools are under siege. 
How do you explain to me that a 27-year-old man will, will carry a primary six-year-old girl into the toilet? That is not sexual urge. That's a spirit. Everything Satan is doing is doing with the warfare, the battle in mind. But you see, most of the time when we look at the church, we recognize that even though we have grown in numbers, many of us are not yet warriors.